Hey guys, so we just wanted to chat really quickly about this whole coronavirus situation in the country and the world really and how it's going to affect the wedding industry and especially you if you've already planned your wedding or planning your wedding for the year and how to deal with all of this. Now the big question is how long is this all really going to last and the truth is we don't know but what we do know we'll try and work out how best we can uh, help you guys out. Now it's perfectly fine to feel overwhelmed. Uh, I know when Clinton and I listened to the president uh, declaring that South Africa is in a state of disaster, I mean that sounded really scary. Um, but I think it's important for us to understand exactly the, the stats and uh, what are the real facts about the coronavirus. So. Globally, we know that there's around 200,000 cases uh, of infection uh, and around 8,000 deaths. Uh, in South Africa in itself, we have around 62, case, 62 cases with no deaths, luckily. But we know that from global trends that it's probably going to get a lot worse before it gets better. So the question is, how do we deal with the situation if you've already planned your wedding or you're getting married in the next couple of months. Now, what we do know is that we are probably around six to eight weeks behind Europe. Now, we've seen what's happened in Europe and the situation that they are currently in. We do know that if we act now, we can probably stop or significantly reduce the number of infected uh, people in our communities. Now, when it comes to the virus, I'm sure many of you already know that the virus isn't as deadly to younger people as it is with older people or people with compromised immune systems. So you have a social responsibility to ensure that you practice proper hygiene and that you also are uh, maintaining social distances from people so that not only are you not getting infected, but you're not uh, passing this on to people who can be affected and whose lives will probably be at risk if they do contact the disease. From a wedding point of view, you really only have three options. The first and the best option is to postpone your wedding. I know the president has implemented a limit on social gathering of 100 people or, or less, uh, and this is up until the 14th of April. But this also might be re-evaluated at a later date depending on the number of cases uh, and how we behave really now will dictate whether that's going to continue towards, I mean, after the 14th of April. So, so one of the things we would suggest is basically contacting your vendors, uh, contacting your venue specifically, and really looking at their schedules for for the third quarter of the year and trying to pencil your dates in as soon as possible as when this passes over you can imagine how those dates are going to actually get uh, booked out. Uh, check in with your vendors to see what are your contractual obligations with regards to postponements and changing of your dates as well. So the second option that you guys have is to just have a smaller more intimate wedding. Now when we talk about intimate weddings, it really has to be a smaller wedding. Now the president has basically said that gatherings of a hundred people or less will be allowed. But the thing is, you must remember when it comes to weddings, you have the service providers and the catering staff and all of these people to consider. So your numbers will really be pretty low, but that's not such a bad thing. Remember, you could always use technology and probably just live stream the wedding to guests that can't make it. Also, I think you guys should also consider uh, if you're having a, uh, a buffet menu, maybe swap that out for a plated um, kind of style of uh, a menu so that it minimizes contact. Uh, if you're having coffee and tea stations or uh, photo booths, just try and minimize all of those things, if not just eliminate it completely, so that you just reduce the, the, the situations where people are interacting at such close distances. Your third option is to cancel your event completely. Um, with this though, you will have to check with your service providers to see what are really your contractual obligations with regards to canceling your event completely. Because I know uh, a lot of the, the venues and a lot of your service providers are, are providing uh, postponement and changes in dates, but really check with regards to cancel cancellations. So we are currently working with clients who are having their weddings in April and May to move that out later in the year. If you do want to postpone your weddings, please just reach out to us if you are our clients um, and we will try and help uh, put you into a date that's not already um, taken up by somebody else. Now, 
We also uh, have the option of doing the, the smaller, more intimate weddings. We are still shooting those if the necessary precautions are in place and you've chatted to your venues uh, about the situation. We will be there to uh, you know, make sure that those weddings are captured. We are offering a few services like you know, live streaming uh, to make those weddings a bit easier in terms of reducing those guest lists. So just give us a call and uh, we'll let you know how all of those things will work. So guys, we know that it's really easy to panic when you look at the news and see everything that's going on around you. But the most important thing is to just step back and readjust and uh, change our course a bit and we can get through this together. The important thing is to make sure that you guys are staying safe and uh, practicing all of these uh, recommendations given to us by the health professionals. And um, we will get through uh, to the other side if we just uh, abide by the rules and help each other as we uh, move forward. Uh, and again, guys, just uh, stay safe out there. If you have any questions, please just uh, drop us a mail or give us a call, and we are more than willing to help you guys uh, during this period. Uh, but we'll chat to you guys soon.